I'm really honored to be here to work with you on behalf of GIZ, on behalf of the GIZ Africa Department. Unfortunately, our colleagues from Senegal will be here because they're in Germany. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing this in, in, on behalf of the whole GIZ Africa team. And of course, uh, our other colleagues who came in from Germany, who came in from across, um, from across Africa. Um, it's, a, it's a great turnout. I was in Ghana like, two years ago. It was similar, and I don't think there's a competition. It's a, it's a build up. Um, so, welcome again. Um, first of all, I want to really thank again, as you mentioned, this for this great preparation and this excellent and warm welcome we all had here yesterday or the day before. The team from uh, Invest in Jobs, actually Senegal, did a great job, and, and the SNLD organization team did a great job so far. It's not over, so this is not a, a, a thank you message, but just a really feel we are in a great setting, in a great environment to, to work and exchange. Let me just share a few, a few, take out a few, a few, a few thoughts on, on the conference um, topic. Transform and invest future proof food system. Transform and innovate, so transform and innovate future um, food systems. And transformation, and we just had a session where we again said transformation, everybody talks about transformation. We had a session in Germany on transformation, we read it in English transformation. And we are aware that transformation means drastic change. It's not just change, it's transformation. I think 10 years ago we were talking about change today, we talk about transformation. Uh, why is this? I think we know why it is. The, the photos we just saw about um, political change crisis, I should say, political crisis, climate change, etc., etc. I'm not going into the global challenges we have. I just want to repeat that we are in times of change and transformation. And I think we all ourselves in our work, we, we ask all, ourselves the question, what does it mean? What does it mean for us? What does it mean for our work? Uh, of course, in particular, in West Africa, can we continue like we do? For we not. We don't have the answer. And I don't think there is one single simple answer. The answer, the, the, the answer is somewhere along the lines of are we doing the right things or are we doing it right? It should be completely changed. And again, it's not that we're stopping everything we're doing and do everything new. It's, it's, it's a combination. And, and that makes it actually really difficult. But that also makes it necessary to come together to discuss and exchange. And that's why the sector network and SNRD become even more important to, to, to make sure we are all sort of on the same level. We don't have the same opinions. We, we may not even have the same values, but, but we have an overall goal and objective of GIZ, which is actually to make the world better and to work with our partners in the countries. And on this basis, we need to think and discuss what, what can we do differently and what can we transform. We do now, I just want to point out a few aspects we, we are discussing in our work, and I'm sure you do this as well. One, one we got is cooperation. Cooperation amongst ourselves at GIZ, cooperation with partners, and sorry I didn't, didn't welcome you, but we have partners here in the room, and partners listening from the European Union, um, and, and, and we have that, the German government is a partner, and we have the partners in the country, the ministry, civil society, businesses. And, and the way we cooperate, I think we have good experience and we do it well, but there may be different other ways to cooperate, which I think is one we need to think about. One other one other aspect we do discuss a lot, and we will be seeing the gym and the GFZ vision, destination we call it, that we should think less in single solutions, but um, we can call it overall portfolio, we can call it integrated solution. It, it means that one person, one project cannot solve all the challenges, we need to, we need to integrate them 
and look at the other challenges. I think that's one of the topics you can see. Um, we already have discussed today, and we'll discuss more in the next couple of days. Um, and, and the third point, I think it's important, and it's in the, in the um, topic of the conference is innovation. Um, I think there's a lot of scope, and I think there's actually a lot of innovation we are doing across Africa and across the world, um, but can we use it better, can we do more, can we be faster, and, and use the innovative approach for transformation. Maybe innovation is just a positive word of transformation. So really innovation, integration, and, and cooperation of, from, from my point of view, key. The point is we need to align ourselves. Um, I'm not here to tell you how food systems can be transformed. You are the expert of food systems. And I'm sure, and again, a lot of things I observe when I talk to the colleagues in the countries, I've just been traveling to Togo, I will go to Togo right now, that there's so much we do already. And really, by, by all you know, we want to transform the different things. Uh, we need to base it on what we are doing, our really, really good context to partners of all sectors, to, to, to our staff, our, our, our team members, countries who, who work uh, on the issues. There is a lot, and, and we are here not wanting to not capitalize on this. So we, we have to build on what we do. That's, that's one message I think is really important. We, we may sometimes um, want to put this in the overall uh, perspective to be better able to communicate with our partners and commissioners on the, on the global challenges. How do we actually contribute to a transformation of food systems? But I think the elements, the bits and pieces, we already do a lot. So I really encourage you to continue what you're doing, don't just capitalize on what you're doing, and of course, continue exchanging in the sector networks. You're all here, so I don't need to convert you, um, but, but encourage your colleagues, and, and, and we as a management also try to encourage the management to, to again capitalize more on the sector networks to be able the good knowledge and the good approaches we have, we put this into place and, and, and we ready this. And again that's that's why SND is is an important such an important sector networks. Um, I just want to share something our colleague uh, Jeff from FFB told us earlier I'm sure he will tell you again that the PMZ uh, made a study where uh, the result is basically, or we made a study on the of PMZ and such as we So basically, the study confirmed that sector networks are very important and very other element of our work. So sector networks have been important, are important, and will be important. This is what we think, this is what the Commissioner think. We will be able, we will be continuously supported by the BMZ to do this um, again. Um, we are on the right way to be here together to exchange. And on this positive note, um, with all the challenges we have, I really, I really wish you great days here to take the opportunities to exchange to know each other. And of course, a lot of people come here also to meet other colleagues, but also take it further. That's maybe another thing we should think about, because very often I don't know the same thing, we go home and okay, see you in one or two years or whatever. But um, we, we, we should try to establish maybe a bit more more uh, commitment and continuation uh, in, in some of the key topics. Although, and this also, I know we are all very busy in our operational work, but it's, um, I'm sure that we, we will all benefit this one So. Thank you again for being here, for exchanging colleagues, partners, organizing teams. We have a great setting here and I'm looking forward for the exchange next couple of days.